The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture I do of me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the best DEI hire of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Mr. Sorry, JP. (laughs) All right, that's enough. Ah, oh, Lord. And also, he is the only two-time funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. Please welcome back Mr. Derek the Wreck Alders. I can't push buttons over here. Fucking You're all fucked up, man. Put some respect on my name. Yeah. I'm sorry. My you bad. Bastard. My Jeez. bad. Sorry. Having a rough day. I've earned it. Yeah, you have. You have. <laughs> Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, welcome into another episode. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy show where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and current events that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast where you like to use foul language and offend people with very thin skin. So if you're one of those people, you're in the wrong place. Get out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Um, We are also uh, no longer... um, What's that called? Getting paid? Profitable, yeah. I think, is the word you're looking for, and I don't think we yeah. ever were. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> pretty much, no. Uh, we're not. Like, I, quit my, thing, I quit my job. Oh, <laughs> well, I got bad news. <laughs> yeah. those, those Lexi that you just bought, you're going to have to take those back. <laughs> no. I like how the, the Lexi, that's Yeah, good. dude, that was uh, that's fucking, two of them. that's what Adam said when we were Lexi. playing poker the other night. He goes, they're not Lexuses, they're Lexi. That's, I was like, dude, that's, that's great. Not, that's great. Uh, but we do have a very good show for you today. Damn right we do. Especially considering the, the last couple of days. Uh, but we have, uh, you know, hot topics, which are hot topics today. I'm going to stab you. <laughs> I'm going to stab the fuck out of you. We have never have Don't I worry, ever. Don't worry, he'll probably just get you in the ear. Yeah, probably. <laughs> we have never have I ever. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But we always like to kick this show off and hopefully get it derailed uh, by our uh, week week recap, which we like to you know say what happened to us over the last uh, week. Derek, a uh, couple weeks. He's uh, been on a vacation. So, uh, yeah, he's got probably a lot of stuff to talk about. Not but, really. Okay, well, we're going to kick this off with uh, Mr. JP. <laughs> JP, here's your magic fairy dust. Yeah. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. Anytime. Appreciate that. You bet. Uh, I didn't do much. I did the same old shit. I bowled. I fucking worked. I played video games. Yeah. But Saturday night, uh-huh. I went over to Derek Alder's house and sure played did. poker. Yes, we and did. And I got there, and it was going good. Yeah. And then they said, Scotty's coming. And I thought to myself, fuck, I'm going to pay rent. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Stan had other ideas. <laughs> this motherfucker, for a, a solid hour, has been shown <laughs> Queen 7, A6, fucking King Queen, King Jack. This motherfucker decides, I, I get jacks. I've fucking had, dude, aces once, kings once, queens twice, and this was my second time having jacks. I didn't get shit else, but I was getting some pretty good-sized pairs. So I fucking raised Stan fucking straddled. Uh-huh. So You love that, though. Right. Oh, I'm fucking, I'm in love with what I, yeah. So I raised like eight bucks. This stupid son of a bitch comes back over the top for 22 bucks, and I'm like, <laughs> okay. For sure he doesn't have it because it's Stan, <laughs> and he thinks I'm just making a play at his fucking straddle. Yeah. So after some deliberation, I decided to go all in, at which point he flipped over his pocket king. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ran it twice, couldn't win either, and fuck, I was out. Was this pre-flop or post-flop? I can't pre-flop. remember. Pre-flop. Pre-flop. Yeah. Oh, but the way the flop came, it was like no. all low cards. Blanks. It would have gotten in on the fucking flop one yeah. way or another. So. Yeah. yeah, it was like 6-6-4. Six, six, yeah. Because so, I had 4-6. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course you did. <laughs> and I bitched, and I was like, because I was in for 8, and then I was like, ah, I'm not going to call the 22. And then uh, the 4-6, I was like, I always I keep getting shit like 4-6, 7 2, and then uh, I get dealt 4 6. I was like, I should play this hand. And it was suited, which I like. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. Then, but not for. Not for sixty dollars no. for the flop. No, so it yeah. was uh, it was a bad deal. And uh, Stan's hot. I still want to fuck him. <laughs> Anywhere's but makeup. I don't like him. I don't <laughs> like him as much anymore. I'll tell you that. But uh, man, I tell you what, I don't know how it ended because I left early. But you were pretty goddamn impressive over Thank there. Thank you. I appreciate it. You, uh, I, I you uh, came in there like you knew what you were doing. I, I did. Kind of scared. I, I stayed. Uh, we, I stayed till the very end. We yeah. ended up chopping the you know the winnings and stuff, and I won quite a bit. I yeah yeah, that, yeah I that did. Thing went till three o'clock. How, fucking man, day. yeah, dude. I was gonna. St- I had to go and I had to do training the next morning at work, mm-hmm. and I was dude. It was so hard not to buy back in. I was like, dude, yeah. just go home, JP. Just go home. And so I went out and smoked a cigarette, and I was like. I can buy in for another hour. I'll be all right. <laughs> and then on my way back downstairs, I was like, I'm just going to say bye and leave. Yeah. So I was like, I got to get out of here. But yeah, I wanted to buy back in. Yeah. I love, dude, I love the group of guys I that, do too. that you get over there. It It's just fun. Yeah. I mean, I surround myself with good people and then Scotty. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, man. I thought for sure, for, for sure. I was going to take you for everything you were worth. No. Stan beat me to, to fucking the punch. Yeah. I don't know if you have that many millions of dollars. Well, that's true, too. <laughs> he is rich. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> but, yeah, it was a very good time. But I yeah, had a lot of fun. Man, I had a blast. They, and we do. We have a, a bunch of good, just good people that, that Derek hangs around, and so it's always a lot of fun. Patton did a fucking Irish goodbye, though. I, everybody was like, did he just leave? And he's like, no, I think he's taking a shit. What? Free, free. I got my Freedom Fusion Mountain Dew today. <laughs> Nice. Just throwing that in there. Very Go good. Ahead. Good for you. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, uh, Derek, it's been a while. Uh, how was uh, how was your couple of weeks? A lot of baseball. I'm imagining. Yeah, uh, I actually had the last week off of baseball, which, which was, was good. Fucking great. Yeah. So uh, July is a pretty easy month. I only got like six games in July total. That's and good. And then August, it's back on ramped and ramped yeah. up in full. Yeah. Uh, had you assholes over on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, played cards till three in the fucking morning. How'd yep. that work out for you? I won like thirty bucks. Damn, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, oh, but man. dude, that's pretty. <laughs> considering where he was twice. <laughs> yeah. Twice. He was almost stacked twice. Yeah. And still ended up turning profit. That's pretty damn good. I have to say. So, I, yeah, go ahead. I did that, uh, and then what else did I do? I bought my wife a car. You did. You bought yourself one, too. I bought myself one, too. And I tell you what. That's so hard to get back into car payments, man. I know, but. Fuck. So you should have just paid them off. I couldn't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he's, out of, he's out of will of fortune I don't, money. I don't have that German cash, man. Uh, I can't do that. Whatever. Uh, but, no, I must say, yeah, he did get two Lexi's whatever you got he, he got, got he got, I got an old 88 and a chrysler 200 <laughs> yeah they're very nice yeah. uh, Pretty, they're like brand new they only got like two hundred and thirteen thousand miles on. That's, good. that's good that's real good mm-hmm. uh I've, i'm dead and you're serious. making payments that's yeah. not yeah, good that's great uh but i I've, i told derek i was just like i don't care it's a lexus but lexuses have the most dope fucking grills out of I all the them. cars of the, especially the cars they're fucking rad they, they just look good yeah so, they got yeah. me at a sweet interest rate 13 nice uh. <laughs> oh my god no, no. You would have never done that. <laughs> never in a no. million no. years. No, but I did get to sell my wife's car. That was interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, first guy I had come look at it, noticed there was a bubble in the tire. And I was like, fuck, because I just fixed that mm-hmm. a few months ago. Obviously not very well. Different tire. Okay. Um, so I was like, he still drove it. Yeah. And I wanted 75, but I would have taken seven. And he was like, oh, I'm at 55 on it. Oof. And I'm like, yeah. I was like, it's, it's got 97,000 miles on it under 10 with not really any issues nobody smoked in it like interiors clean like i don't really that's worth more than that so i was like ah let me i, I don't think right yet i was like let me let me have it out there for a couple of weeks 
So then I was talking to a buddy of mine about it, and he wanted his daughter to come see it. And I was like, well, if it's for her, because it's like one of my best friends, I was like, I'll do it for six. So she come to look at it, and I thank God she passed on it. Because I was like, I'm not going to let her drive it till I get the tire fixed. Yeah. And I went to a place that just sells used tires, because I'm not going to put a new tire on no, it. No, of course. Right. And the guy I was, t- I mentioned the guy that owns it, I was selling it, and he's like, how much you want? I said, 75. He goes, I'll give you seven cash on Monday. And I'm like, Fuck. Let me talk to my wife. And so I'm like, all right, well. Deal. My buddy's daughter, I was still going to give it to her for sex. Uh, yeah. yeah. I was going to do the but right thing. You said and she do passed. That. So then she came and drove it that night. Uh, and then the next day she called me that evening and told me she was going to pass. Okay. So I was like, okay. So then uh, another thing we did, we went to went to dinner, which I haven't really been doing so at all. So you sold it. You sold, you sold it for seven. Got cash. Seven. Yeah. Which, is, which was the better deal. That was yeah. what I wanted. That's and what he wanted. Nobody got cash, so you got to take it home and spread <laughs> it around on the bed and fuck on it for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. always fun. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then I went. You still got that on you? No. <laughs> oh, okay. No. Damn. Went to dinner on Sunday night, and uh, a buddy of mine is it works in the kitchen, and so I texted him, and I was like, "Hey, uh, just so you know, uh, I'm, I'm going to be ordering the 12 ounce ribeye. Uh, make sure you put your wiener on it." <laughs> And uh, he knows shit. They send it out with a hot dog on the steak. Wow. <laughs> and the best part was the waitress didn't bring the food. So she's walking by the table as they're oh, delivering shit. the food. And she goes, what, what is that? <laughs> what is that? They did not send that. What is that? Like, freak the fuck out. And uh, I'm like, it's okay. Where's I know the at? cook. It's hilarious. <laughs> Texas Roadhouse. Okay. I was like, I know the cook. It's hilarious. Him and the kitchen manager did this. Like, I know who it is. <laughs> And uh, so whenever we were leaving, she's like, hey, don't come back. You guys took like 10 years off my life. <laughs> the real question is, did you eat the hot dog? No. <laughs> and how many bites did it take? No, I did not eat it. But they could have done a little bit better job filleting the end of it so it looked like they, oh, they did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they could have done that. But oh, uh, we did that. And then uh, there's a furniture place going out of business. So we went and bought a new fucking mattress this weekend. Yeah. So this one's actually going out of business. You know how they always are like, oh, oh right. going out of business. Sure it is. God damn, yeah. you motherfucker's been going out of business for the last eight years. Yeah. Cherry Orchard. Yeah, yeah, right? So this was Horton's. Uh, they're actually having an auction this weekend with the rest of their shit. Yeah. So yeah. family just is retiring. So I got like a $4,000 mattress for like 1000 bucks. Nice. Which is crazy to me. What? How How do you justify a $4,000 mattress? How do I you, don't. You get it on okay. sale for 1000 bucks. Well, no, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. I, I understand that. But a $4,000 mattress? It would be like spending $500 on a snowboard and living in Kansas. You know uh, what I mean? Nah, yeah, more, that more, makes sense. More like $1,000 okay. on a snowboard. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Even worse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, he's basically, gonna use his mattress every day. How often you use that snowboard? Uh, at least twice a year. I wow! Bet he, I bet when he paid a thousand bucks for it, he had to sleep on it for a week. Oh, I guarantee <laughs> yeah. he did. I cuddled with it. Yeah, at night. yeah. For, for sure. sure. I really did. Yeah. Thank God it's white. <laughs> God, no shit. It's black on the other side. Oh, good. Well, you better not flip it over. You're yeah. never going back. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he just starts going down the mountain. And I, just stops. I, I dated a. I dated a black chick. Mm-hmm. That's not what we're talking about. Yeah, I mean, oh, okay. But that side's faster, so if you want to use that, is that. true. It totally is. That's why it's yeah. on the bottom yeah. Yeah. for sure. Touche, touche. Did you do anything else? How how was baseball? I got to meet yeah. Chooch yeah. for the very first time. Yeah, Chooch is a shit. I didn't is know that the the guy that was sitting next to him. Um, <laughs> Choo choo. <laughs> uh, he used to have long hair and he oh, just don't cut it all better. off and donated it. And I used to tell him he looked like Ronald McDonald without all the makeup on. <laughs> I mean, I'll fuck a clown. That's all I'm saying. Scotty? No. Oh. No. <laughs> no, but like, I don't know why, but ever since you've like brought him up on the show, I thought he was like a fucking 50 year old man. No. I do- He's it's like a twenty two year old 21. kid. Yeah, twenty one. Yeah, yeah. So good dude. Nah, he was. He seemed like he was really nice. You were showing him every, all of your hands and stuff yeah, like that because I didn't know. I thought he had played a lot. And oh. he's like, no. And I was like, dude, he was just like calling everything like the tournament. Oh. I was like, dude, you can fold. Because <laughs> he was like, I got nine high. I'm like, what are you calling? What for? are you doing? So he's like, well, usually when I play with my friends, like they're full of shit all the time. I'm like, these guys aren't, except for JP. (laughs) JP. Dude, I didn't go in. I did not put my money in in a bad spot once. 
Not once. No, you except you, for when Stan. <laughs> when when I put it in against Stan and he <laughs> fucking had kings. Speaking of Stan, I did download the new Eminem album. Dude, it's <laughs> nice. phenomenal. It's good. Yeah. It's good. I love it. I like it. I really like I, it. I got fucking made fun of at work because I bought this thing that it's like you can use it for on like three devices. Um, and I put it on my laptop and it just rips the YouTube video to an MP3 and then I put it on my iPhone. I put it and he's like, Why don't why would you do that? And I'm like why wouldn't I do that? He's like, dude, why don't you just get Apple Apple Music? It's like ten bucks a month, and I'm like, because that was thirty dollars, and that's it. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't have yeah. to. Well, I, I just use my friend Spotify, and there you go. I don't pay shit either. I use YouTube. I have yeah. YouTube Premium, and so uh, I just YouTube download. YouTube Premium is about the gayest thing I've ever that's heard. That's like of fourteen in my bucks life. a month. I think. Well, guess what? I'm out. I love it. So I know you do. I you fucking fag. love. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I love YouTube premium. That's where I use because I, I just, I, I got tired of fucking commercials and yeah, it's right, so dude. stupid. Cool. And I watch a lot of YouTube videos and, and not a whole lot of music. Yeah. So right on. But the know. highlight though was Jeremy Joseph being at the house. Yeah. It was good to see Jeremy. God damn. That motherfucker's hilarious. He's yeah, fucking he is. funny. Son of a bitch. Yes. You didn't hear it, but we were talking about, uh, Somehow we got on the subject of religion and shit. Oh, yeah. And then you were like, well, I believe in God. And I was like, Jeremy, Scotty believes in God, but God doesn't believe in Scotty. <laughs> and Jeremy's like, yeah, that's the only one. God's like, I wish I would have pulled out on that one. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, I fucking love that dude. But yes, Jeremy Joseph is alive and well and doing great. And he was, uh, it was a lot of fun to see him over the weekend. So yeah, I did, uh, or I'm sorry, you done? And he brought my fat ass cinnamon rolls. Now I'm done. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, I did want to pop. Oh, what? Well, you got a hand raised for what? Hitler. Because I'm drinking my freedom oh, okay. fusion. Oh, okay. Um, I do want to publicly thank in person, in person, Derek Alders for, uh, finding me the, uh, the cool runnings poster that's signed by all of the characters. I except did not John Candy. except for John Candy. I still you didn't think tell it, us that. I didn't. I forgot. I took. Uh-huh. But guess what? It, I think yes. If it had John Candy, it would definitely not have been a hundred fucking dollars. No. Well, good thing okay, you've got so, like five million. Right. Yes. Uh, but no. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate. It. I paid for it, but I mean, like, yeah, I, was it, gonna say, I didn't do anything. I, I, I just, you were. You just immediately thought of me, which tells me we are actually friends, which oh I think God. is absolutely funny. So everybody, yeah. Gross. Derek I don't Fucking think awesome. I don't think Derek would appreciate you telling all these people <laughs> that you guys are friends. I guess I have to call him every time I think of him. So as soon as I'm getting ready to flush my shit down, I want to be like, "Hey, just you know, send I'm him just, a video." I yeah. was just thinking just send about him a you. Video, yeah. 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 Uh, Send it to him on YouTube. You won't have to watch a commercial that way. Yeah, dude. I was fucking my wife the other this last weekend. I was. Oh, I, had, yeah. Yeah, I had bad gas, dude, and I was farting like crazy, and I was letting farts, and I was like opening the cabinet. <laughs> or opening the drawer, like I would fart and pretend like I'm looking where it came from. Dude, do you know I did you this just... for an hour. I, I was like, huh? what was that? <laughs> oh, man down. <laughs> Shit, everything down. Yeah. Fucking, fucking macho man. man. Yeah, he did everything. I okay. had no idea that that was all there. I can't see. There's a big fucking helmet in the way. <laughs> That's okay. Man down. That's fine. When you started that story, you go, I was fucking my wife this weekend. <laughs> oh. And I was just farting. And I was like, wow, where's this going? And then something about the cabinets. Where were you guys fucking in the kitchen or something? <laughs> Under like, the sink. You got to oh. use the big cabinet. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, oh, she shit. was she was stuck under the cabinet. Well, congratulations, so I, right. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So help it, her out. I'm going to start doing that now, though. I think. You should for sure. You should. Uh, so if you like, have, hey, honey, I'm queefing for you. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Uh, have you um, by any chance? Have you? Uh, did you have any like fun stuff happen at the baseball games at all? No, 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 uh, no. I did. I did. Fucking not. 100 degree weather all the whole fucking week. Is... Luckily, he's up in the press box. Oh, yeah, I'm in the air conditioning. So he's got AC. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. I, well, actually, I did. Uh, we played Tulsa. Yes. Which is uh, the double A affiliate of the Dodgers. Right. And um, they want me to banter with the MC, so I made sure to make Shohei Otani gambling jokes. <laughs> so uh, they do the fruit race. JP, for some reason, is not ever in it. Uh, they, it's I'm like, not. we've got apple, watermelon, and JP. <laughs> like that's. Uh, dude so i'm I would, in i would give i would give some money to dude, watch i'm it. in oh god that'd be great but uh 
So two of the three times, the first one I was like, uh, the, the MC was like, well, Derek, it looks like you owe me 50 bucks. And I was like, actually, no, I didn't bet. That was my interpreter. <laughs> and, and then on the second one, I don't know which one won. It's irrelevant. But then I was like, the real question is, which one did Shohei Otani bet on? Oh, that was, boy. So, they let you say that? I said it. I don't give a shit. I said it. What are they going to do? <laughs> fucking fire me? Uh, Fine. And, and the other one that I did, uh, they have what's called knocker ball. Mm. Um, and they put you in like big, giant, rubber fucking balls. And you Done slam that. into Been each there. other. Done right? it. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Know and exactly so what you're talking about. I can't really ever think of anything appropriate to joke about <laughs> right. when they do this. And so I was like, finally, I was like, Zeb. Wasn't Knockerball your nickname in high school? And then I was like, wait a minute. I think I got that backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I uh, hope I don't get fired for this one. But God damn it, it's funny. And I'm saying it. Oh, that's good. So, I like that. Man. Ball knocker. Ball knocker. That's, that's where I went that's with. That's good shit. Somebody's going, red lo- lob? Yeah, right, right, <laughs> right. knock? Yeah. Oh, that's Lobber good shit. Uh, I Lobber had- conk. I had something about that, but now Easy, I can't buddy. remember. You don't want my Freedom Fusion. Oh, I don't. <laughs> you want Canadian Crush. Yeah, he, wants, he does want Canadian Crush. I want Canada Dry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, I guess I'll get on to, to my week. I had my wife this week. I swear to God, it happens did every... Did you fart when you fucked her? No, I didn't. Because Derek's did. way ahead of you then. I yeah. did not. Uh, um, you got to do that, man. So I, uh, I, got, I, I got good. She got me good. Um, but anyways, uh, it out. my wife, she it out. When you no, her? no. So we'll get to it later in the show. So once every 10 years, my wife has a blonde moment and she lets you put it in her oh, ass. Sorry. No, it's because we, get we, those I know I can't, Scott. I can't. Yeah. But I uh, know once every 10 years, my wife has a blonde moment where she says or does something very stupid. I E we got married 10 years ago. That's one. Um, but this, uh, last week we were watching a show called uh, destination unknown. And uh, I love it. It's a great show. Josh Gates is a good dude, and he goes around about, like, history and stuff, trying to find stuff. Anyways, uh, there was a uh, – <clears throat> this week's episode was something about, like, British loyalists back in, like, the 1760s that were basically ran out of town. And they were, like, hiding out in caves. And they were going down into these caves, and there's, like, a cut scene wherever, like, they're strapping themselves up with, like – climbing equipment with like ropes and cables and shit like that by the way it's called spelunking okay cool all right all right fine um but they're going down like 18 feet my wife sees them putting on like all of this equipment and i shit you not she says they didn't have rope back in the 1760s and i just like like slow stare look at her and go what are you fucking serious and I was like, yeah, like whenever they came over from the British or wherever the fuck they came from, they were all holding the fucking sails down, just Jeff and Steve. It was a human chain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was like, it's- yeah, they, they were they were fucking hanging people in the street like Jeff Epstein with the fucking like bed sheets and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you fucking serious? And she was just kind of sitting there looking at me like. Oh. I'm so sorry. I just it was just one of those things. And I was like it was it was just 20 minutes of me using shit for like nope, ropes weren't invented in the 1770s. Fuck no. It's fucking ridiculous. But we thought both of us were just laughing cuz I knew what she meant. She was meaning that they didn't have like climbing equipment. So how did they get down into this fucking cave? I understood it, but that's not what she said. So right. she was she was fair game. The real question is, how did they play tug of war in the seventeen? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know, I'd really like the to play the same way a game. I play on Saturday nights. Yes, <laughs> and uh, and then something else happened, and we'll get to that later. That my wife uh, asked, and I think it's fucking hilarious. Um, but uh, so uh, we also had a Monday fun fun day art that was just meant to be a fucking joke. And then the That's, it was a goddamn terroristic <laughs> threat. <laughs> it was a terroristic like, threat, God. was it? Created that on a Thursday, and uh, it was just supposed to be a joke. And then you know the the things unfolded uh, over this last weekend, and so the AR-15 has been purchased. I'm the gayest thing I've ever fucking heard. Fucking excited! I cannot wait. Yeah, I got I got an AR-15. It's five five six. Only five five six. So all the people out there are like, "Oh, why don't you get a wild?" Because it's not as accurate. I don't even know what the fuck either of those are. That's uh, I just know it's a pew pew. <laughs> it's, it. it's a pew it's, pew. Uh, but it was it's awesome. That way he can protect his backyard. Yeah. Exactly. I, I I am gonna have a loadout that I will now have that I can fucking clear my backyard when I hear sounds in the middle of the night. 
Um, so yeah, I'm I'm very very. You know what scares me? <laughs> Good guys with guns don't scare me. Scotty with a gun <laughs> fucking scares me. Oh yeah, this guy's trooper crawling around his fucking backyard <laughs> because he heard a noise on TikTok. <laughs> And he's getting an AR. <laughs> Fuck. Good, yeah. good, good, good. Blindly fire into the Yeah, night. oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, but no, really, though, me and JP are both pretty big gun guys, so now we can go and shoot. That's true. Uh, so I'm going to have a lot of I fun. I love guns. I fucking love them. They're great. Uh, but now we can uh, actually hang out outside of the podcast and go shoot some guns. I think it'll we be We hang a lot out of outside of the podcast. Yeah, that's true. We you do. just don't tell anyone. That's true. That's right. Uh, but I also did fairly well at cards. Yeah, I man. was very, I, I was just in a fucking I was really, zone. I'm not even kidding. I was really impressed, buddy. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Because yeah. I'm not used to seeing that out of you. <laughs> yeah. Usually I, you're shit face drunk. Yeah. I, it's true, yeah. But no. I thought you were shit face drunk when you walked in, to be honest. Mm mm. Hmm. No, I was just a little looser. I was probably, I probably was a little, nah, I, I got you were buzzed way tighter. later. You were way, you played way less hands than you normally play. Yes, I stayed out. I did not. I, I didn't care for that. <laughs> 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 I was waiting for you to walk in and just give me your money. Yeah, I did you not. Did not. Uh, when it came down to it, I, I don't think I lost a hand. That I that I went all the way to the river in. If obviously, if I mean, I would get out. You know how much plot, more but. money you could have made though, because oh, you definitely. do this thing where if you've got, I'm not going to tell you. Never mind. Yeah, don't tell me. You're going to no, ruin because, it. Yeah, yeah, because now I mean, it's a huge tell. That's, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so yes, that was, uh, that was my week, but I did want to take the time because I promised him that I would. And I, I think all of us as a family of listeners on this show, um, whenever somebody needs a, needs a hand, uh, we, we really are a family. And so I wanted to give a shout out to Will Gonzalez. Um, unfortunately his wife has been dealing with cancer and, uh, he sent me a message, which it says, uh, says this, he said, hello, gentlemen, I have a favor to ask of y'all. I'm not sure I can even ask this. <clears throat> uh, but my mom has been dealing with cancer for the past year, so she moved with she moved in with me, so I can take care of her. I started to go fund me to help her with medical bills because we had to use the uh, use the rent money for all of her medical bills. So now we're behind on rent and other bills. She's actually a fan of the show, especially when Derek goes off about Aaron Rodgers because she hates him almost as much as he does. Ah, that's a lot of that's hate. That's a lot, that's of, a hate. lot of hate. Uh, but she is, he, he said it's been rough. Uh, it's been a rough year, and and listening to the podcast definitely helps me get through my day. I'm not asking for a donation. I was wondering if you can share the GoFundMe on, um, on the show so I can get out or get it out to a bigger audience. And he sent me the link. So uh, absolutely, I, I will actually even do a post um, right here. Uh, but I also do I'll also do better than that. I will put the GoFundMe on all of our uh, social media platforms. So I mean. Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Facebook as well. Um, guys, we literally are a, a family. So if you can participate in, uh, in donating anything you have to Will and, and, his, and his mom, that would be fucking awesome. So I wanted to give him a shout out, and uh, hopefully we can help with that. For We're sure. also a family that doesn't turn our ringers off whenever the fucking <laughs> show is on. Actually, uh, that was not me. Who it was, was it? Wasn't JP. Me. JP. My, ringer, my ringer's never my on. My dead. ringer is off, too. I don't know who that was. but that anyway. was, was that your burner phone, Scotty? It could be my burner phone. Yeah, yeah it could be. It was you. Uh, but anyways, You're fucking cool. Trying to blame me. I, I don't know. You know, my ringer stays off. Yeah, I know. So it's okay. mine. So it's gotta be Derek. Mm -hmm. Uh, but Fuck anyways, uh, let's move on to the hot topics. Um, uh, first thing I wanted to bring up was, uh, the guy sketch. You guys remember sketch? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apparently there was some stuff that came out about Mr. Sketch. Oh, uh, yeah. he was apparently in a gay porno on only fans in it. Uh, kind of surfaced and a lot of people uh kind of spilled the beans on that and he admitted to it why didn't you oh, tell us about this so whenever this like we talked about it the first time when we were talking about sketch like a month I had ago. absolutely no idea yeah, oh, right. you're in the it. video i oh, know don't lie no apparently the person that was also in the video had a very had large equipment we'll just oh, say so good. it could have been you actually i, I wish <laughs> oh fuck i'll do anything to get famous <laughs> What if he was normal and then like that hit a nerve? <laughs> right. He's yeah. like, he, like, hey, hey, my name's Sketch, and what's up, brother? What's up, brother? 
<laughs> which I think, uh, and he came. Dude, him and Jinxie have fucked. No, I don't oh, think for so. Sure. I don't, for I don't sure. For sure. That dude's know. gay. <laughs> Jinxie is? Gay. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't gay. care. I don't care, though, but I think like. I do. Well, you do, because you are, right. too. And that, well, you, you know, you've got some options now. Well, I know. I still don't have any options. <laughs> But like, like whenever he admitted to it, he was expecting like a lot of his following would would like fucking hate him or something. No, like dude, that. they're still they like, were like they were like everybody else. Like, okay, big fucking yeah, deal. Yeah, it's not as cool to be gay as it used to be. Uh, it's just like Nike, nobody cared. So yeah. yeah, I I don't care. Good for him. I hope he made some money on that fucking. Only I definitely got to find this video. <laughs> right? I but I guess rumors are that they've taken it down, but I don't know. You could probably still find oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Dark web, baby. Yeah. Um, but well, the next thing is the last thing, and that that that's what we're gonna move on to. Everybody uh, fucking saw Donald Trump <laughs> fucking got a, an assassination attempt in the middle of uh, what was it, Pennsylvania, something like that. Yeah, sure. At a, at a at a rally, and uh, that's uh, obviously something we do not like to talk about. We don't like politics or anything like that as much on you. this show. But so we don't like to talk about politics. I don't. It's I all don't. crisis actors. It uh, didn't really happen. <laughs> it was a peaceful assassination attempt. <laughs> the, the fucking fact about this whole situation is, is every single person on this show, I mean, all six of us or seven of us, all are different politically. And we are all still friends. We don't let the politics fucking make us want to shoot somebody. But this particular fucking situation, I don't know. What if it was politically driven? The guy was a conservative, uh, yeah, he he registered did. Republican, but he donated money to the Democratic Party. Um, and I'm not going to say his fucking name, but uh, I Scotty German, I cannot say, yeah, I cannot say you how much missed. it is. That's really, why he's getting the AR, you know, yeah, yeah. no, a uh, five minutes after it happened is when I bought my gun. Of course, it is. I didn't because know if the, if the cost was going to go dude, up or not, crazy, That's okay. dude. but so crazy. I will say this. After the evidence has started to come out and there's video footage of people seeing this dude up on the roof and telling people for like two fucking minutes, looks kind of sketchy. I'm just like say like a gay only fan sketchy or a different kind of sketchy? <laughs> <laughs> different. Much different. See, I'm, I like how we can actually joke about this just a little bit. Here's the thing, man. So. Wow. Yeah. That's all I got to say. But, I mean, it's it's obviously really fucking sad that, I mean, the, there was an actual person who got shot and, and, and died, uh, and they opened it up. They opened up a GoFundMe for him, and that thing is already at, like, almost $4.4 million. And that's, thank God for that, but I'm also like, uh, it's just, it's such a bad situation that we've got to this point. But um, I just wish yeah. that I would have been the guy that came up with GoFundMe. Because holy <laughs> yeah, fuck, right. yeah, that's that right. thing is that thing is the answer for, for everything. everything. Yeah. And you get they get yeah. like what like get. percent? Have what percent? Like ten percent or something it's of the people a lot. of whoever creates the GoFundMe? You no, know of the money the that company. comes in. The oh, company GoFundMe gets a does? Percentage. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they oh, get like a like five percent, ten percent. Well, I don't know what it is, but that's it's kind. But of I wish I would have fucking come up with that. Yeah, for sure, it's great. Like Dana White, he donated fifty grand by himself. I'm going to do one called Go Fuck Me. <laughs> yeah. Well, careful. I've been hearing you bitch about your grinder messages. So. Yeah, they're horrible. Uh, but honestly. Ooh. You'll get V-neck socks with a nunchuck oh up your ass. Oh, my God, I dude. I really, I, did, I didn't, I don't want to spend socks. a whole lot of time on this. This is obviously not our bread and butter, you know, obviously. <laughs> but it, it's, oh, man, it sucks that we're in this particular situation what like, really sucks uh, is all of the f p fucking videos of people in their trucks screaming again yeah <laughs> we were done true, with that for man. a minute we were so done with it it's the same video just a different yeah. guy yeah yeah, yeah. so but yeah the funny thing is to me and this is as far as i'll go is is the, is the giant outrage over which it is, is justified right yeah it absolutely is um but the same, a lot of the same people that were pissed off about it were the ones that were laughing when Nancy Pelosi's husband got nearly beat oh, to death yeah. with a yeah. hammer. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Trump included. Oh, for sure. So it's like, yeah. 
I love the people that are like, if this happened to Biden, yeah, then you'd all be fucks too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if it was the other way around, dude, you would have you would have a fucking party, bro. No. Yeah, I do hundred percent believe that. I honestly, honestly hate the fact that we've got to that point to where <clears throat> the different sides that we are legitimately talking about. And, and here's the other thing: I called it five minutes before it happened. I have witnesses. My wife and my stepmom. We were sitting at the at the at the, at the kitchen counter. And I'm just like, dude, I think that somebody is going to probably. And Steve called it last week. Keith, Steve flat out fucking said, um, I'm surprised that Trump hasn't had like a fucking accident or something. So the fact that we're like thinking about this, this is how divided that we are at this particular point in time. And it's fucking, it's awful. It's not good. Oh, I agree. Yeah, it's not fucking good. Usually something like this will bring the country together. And it is not. I know it's, it's exactly what they want to happen. Like, here's the thing, man. You're a stooge if you think it matters if fucking Trump gets an office or Biden gets an office or fucking Obama gets an office or fucking it doesn't matter. It but doesn't fucking matter. The man. thing is, is that, though, there are people that really, really think that it really fucking does. But it doesn't. And I'm serious. And it sucks that we've gotten to the point where we're talking about somebody trying to kill a fucking political person who's running for president it's that shouldn't fucking happen that's some communist shit that's what fucking putin has done is he has his fucking political opponents killed and believe me i am not saying that the the left set this up i don't know i don't know if it was a setup it it's just there are certain things that happened that are fucking sketchy that's all i'm gonna say only fans in a porno <laughs> that's right yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right yeah, i mean yeah, nobody knows. Dude, uh, I like to think that Kennedy did it. What, <laughs> what, what would the odds of that be? Like, you know what? I'm tired of my family getting shot at. It's about goddamn time one of you do. Uh, what, if, what if it was Kennedy? Been. It could have been. Uh, so terrible. It could come out 30 years from now that oh, he was the one on the grassy roof. <laughs> yeah, the grassy roof. <laughs> the grassy roof. <laughs> Oh man! So, anyways, Listen. let's let's get the fuck out of this because I don't want to keep talking about it. It sucks. It fucking sucks. What the fucking what idiot let him stand back up? You don't know if there's like somebody else out there oh, shooting. He actually, didn't give a, he didn't give a fuck, dude. Ax, actually, I, let's talk about this. How about some of the females that were part of his fucking like security detail? Like these are the people that are trained to like jump in front of anything and protect him. The the girl was like like standing back, like not doing. She was just like ducking and not doing her job. And it, it oh, it's so. Mm. It, it's fucking oh, Lord. It's fucking gay porny. It's, I'm just saying. It's crisis actors, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, uh, but it, yeah, it's. He's all dude, over the Epstein he's files. He's for so they sure need to getting him. elected now. I agree. And, and, I, and guess what? And all I'm, it took was a little will, flesh wound to the ear. I will come out and say, I mean, I've said it for the last past couple of weeks, but seriously, I do not like both sides. I don't. I, I can't stand it. Dude, but this Nick is bad. me in the cock if it's going to make me president. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it's terrible. I'm so sorry that we're in this particular situation. So, but let's get out of this. I, I'm tired of talking about it. We have the home run derby on. That is oh, now. Oh, well, that's even cooler. Yes. My yes. best friend is at I that, love which home is run really derbies. fucking cool. Our, you know what's really shitty that he's at that? What? Is that he didn't ask me to fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was actually asking him because I've never seen the Phillies play. Mm-hmm. And I'd like to go watch. The Phillies to me are a fun team. Yeah. And they're playing Kansas City. And so I was like, hey, tickets to the Sunday game which I don't like going to because hot as fuck, yeah. but he can. Yeah. I was like, do you want to go to the Phillies game on, on Sunday, August like 25th or whatever? And mm-hmm. he's like, uh, let me check. I'm looking at Home Run Derby tickets right now. I'm like, where's Home Run Derby? He's like, it's in Texas. And so then he's like, well, I bought tickets to Home Run Derby. And I'm like, okay. And he told me what they ran. And I was like, cool, are you and your wife going? He's like, no, me and one of the guys that works for him. And I'm like, you motherfucker. <laughs> We're supposed to be boys. <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> And so then he just sent me a video of him up there, and I'm like, he's like, this place is great. We got to go to a game sometime. I'm like, we could have went to Home Run Derby, bitch. <laughs> you don't think I can fake COVID? I'll take off work. I got sick time. Let's yeah. do this. He just sold a, a car for seven grand. He's got seven grand Fuck sitting yeah, around. And, and guess what? If he if his option is, 
full seven grand or spend a lot of money and go to the home run derby, it's probably I'm going to the fucking home run derby. Thanks, Brian. Right? Yeah. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. I never liked them. Also, thanks for helping me move the mattress. (laughs) (laughs) Such a good fucking dude. Uh, But anyways, yeah, so we have we have the all star game uh, this this what weekend or week or whole week or whatever. It's all star break. It's 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 all star break. Yeah. So futures uh, game, all star game, MLB draft. They have roped into this. Yes. The guy Kansas City got. I'm interested in. Oh, yeah? Yes. He's supposed to be the best two-way player in the draft, mm-hmm. uh, like 30, 40 home run potential. Like. Oh, cool. So I'm in, I'm interested to see him come through. I'm I excited s- for that. I, I saw the guy that St. Louis drafted is also supposed to be pretty decent, so I'm I'm happy for that, too. So well, Thank God we, we split. started talking about baseball. We split. We did. We it was. Uh, we won two games. You guys won two games over the last series in uh, St. Louis. Is it bad? I'm not even really that excited to go watch the Cubs. Next I was week. just getting ready to say that. Like, I'm uh, glad I didn't get the dugout. Yeah. 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 I'm just. Uh, Who are like, they playing? The Royals. Oh, they're playing I'm the Royals. Going to Kansas City to watch. That's cool. That's but cool. It's like, man, I'm not even really that. Like, I'm excited to see if I get it. I don't think I'll get it. I don't think it's going to shake out that way. But I'd like yeah. to see uh, show or not show. Hey, Shota pitch. Yeah. Uh, Imanaga, and I don't think I'm going to get that. I might get a C Steel pitch. Yeah. And then Bellinger's hurt, and I'm like, well, fuck. That's the only guys I like on the goddamn team. <laughs> Well, anyways. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is Hot Topics. You uh, motherfucker. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'm going to be here next week, just not on the show. I'm just going to be hiding with a fucking rifle waiting for you to see that. <laughs> That'll be, yeah. Well, don't worry. <laughs> Nobody will see you climbing yeah. on a fucking building. Uh, if you miss me... <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. That's a problem. That's not good. Because yeah. I guarantee it took me an hour and 46 minutes to climb onto that building. <laughs> With help. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> hey, will you hold my gun while I get up here real quick? <laughs> Toss it up. I'm ready. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is Hot Topics. Now we get to move on to Never Have I Ever. Thank all of you guys for participating in the oddly future predicting fucking Monday fun day. Yeet. Sorry. Uh, but yes, we do have some very good uh, suggestions. Uh, and the first one, guys, is going to be coming from my wife. Mm. Actually, ask this to me. She wanted to know, never have I ever measured your penis. I like to think when she asked you this question, when you were like, I got a huge dick. And she was like, have you measured your penis? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. I like to think that's how I she feel like there it. was a reason. Uh, yeah. Actually, there's a reason why I, I did a long pause there. And that is because she actually asked me, have you never, or she asked me, have you ever measured your penis when it was flaccid? Because every single guy has measured their dick when it's hard. There ain't a single fucking motherfucker out there who has measured his flaccid dick. You have? Why? Because I wanted to know. <laughs> Why? You want to see how much, what the growth rate is? Oh, my God. Are you serious? He, is a, he does like math. I, I guess. I mean, I, I, so. Compound contractions. <laughs> But no, I have never measured my flaccid penis. Have you mer- measured your flaccid penis, Derek? With a, ho- with a homemade ruler. <laughs> with a homemade ruler? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, each notch is a foot. <laughs> and I, the ruler's about this long. Yeah, that's good. And it's got 66 notches. <laughs> Derek probably uh, uses the side that says centimeters, I'm guessing. Sounds bigger. Yeah, it does. It's it does. totally true. That's true. Bigger yeah. word. Yeah, but fuck the metric system. Um, but yes, I have not. No, I have not. And I can't believe that JP has. So anybody else out there? I didn't do it. Oh, somebody else did. Yeah. I don't oh, even use God. a ruler. I just measure it up against other things. <laughs> like, I wonder how big my dick is next to this hot wheel. <laughs> oh, I'm huge. Derek's walking that's around. That's not a hot wheel. That's a micro machine. <laughs> it's cocks. That's how I send dick pics. Yeah. That's, I'm like, hey, I, just so you know, my full dick. size hot wheels. No, yeah. no, I don't tell him it's a hot wheel. Just so you know, my dick is as big as a Ferrari Testarossa. <laughs> oh, good. You, 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 you can totally, God bless you. Totally my just, dick's the size of the Jurassic Park car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next one we are going to move on to is from Marcus. I believe it's Cherez. I hate Spanish for chair. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple chairs. Yeah. You've uh, got mucho chairs <laughs> around your dining room table. Right. Later, we're going to have chairs and preguntas. That's right. Uh, but anyways, Marcos, he wanted to know, never have I ever witnessed a serious crime. 
Oh, for sure I have. Have you? Oh yeah. Did did the did you co- commit it? That did you? Yeah, I was gonna say. Did you? Were you were you were complacent? I'm I guessing. Mean, no. 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 Did you tell the cops? Well, yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah, for snitch. sure. You were a snitch. I got robbed. Oh, <laughs> you witnessed yourself getting robbed. Yeah. At gunpoint. Yeah. Quick Are trip. you serious? Yeah. Oh yeah, because it was that quick trip, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I oh, like how that makes man. it okay now. Oh, at the gas station. Oh, no, right, it's like, ah, that makes sense. And then no, like fucking still sucks. a year later, one of the clerks at a different store got shot and killed. Oh, my God. Yeah. God, I wish they would have rotated you guys around. <laughs> I, uh, trust me. I'm with you. I'm with you. And people, I am wow, with you. Why, why but do you no, always I mean, carry your gun? Well, other stuff, one. too, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Other things. I mean, like, a, like, and here's the other thing. Like a, like a misdemeanor, everybody has. But, like, I mean, if you've ever like watched people drink alcohol that were under the age of 21. I mean, that's, that's a crime, but I bought them alcohol. A, yeah, exactly. A felon, you know, but like <laughs> I mean, witnessed a fucking, you got to do something oh, to get you to sleep them, with you. You bought yeah. them alcohol. I thought you said you bought them alcohol. Like you fucking butt chug. Oh, well, I do <laughs> I was that like, too. is that what that's called now? Yeah. Bottoming? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, well, uh, but no, I don't think I'll take two shots of whiskey in a funnel. <laughs> no funnel needed. <laughs> he just fucking puts just the bottle up there. Stick the bottle up there and fucking I heard do a handstand. I heard there was like some other chick like recently like that's trying to beat out the hawk to a girl because she like butt chugged something. I don't that's know. Right. That's, that's good. That's yeah, so that's bad. That's fun. Uh, but no, I don't think I've ever witnessed a, an actual serious crime. You know, like a fucking robbery or a murder or anything like that. I've, I don't think that's I ever have. How disappointing. Uh, what? I'm a good guy. Okay. Yeah. How about you, Derek? Absolutely. You have? On the fucking regular. <laughs> I look at my paycheck and I watch the government <laughs> steal money crime. every goddamn week. Those motherfuckers are robbing me blind. You are correct, sir. Not anymore. You are, that, that, you are correct. I, I apologize. You are exactly 100% correct. That's not theirs. Yeah, it's not. That's mine. Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. And next one comes in from Brady Michael Harrington. He wants to know, never have I ever gone to a concert and afterwards been truly disappointed. Yes, I have. I I have... And I can't remember who the fuck it was. I just oh, wow. blanked. You must have been really concert. disappointed. No, I, I'll think of it. I, I will think. Um, it, Taylor Swift. No, it was uh, a country. Blink-182. Co- it was a country band. Oh, well, you I moron. Like them. That, huh? They were good. You moron. Don't go to a country concert. I like That's country. stupid. I like all, I like all music. I like Man, rap. I like I rock like, and roll. You know what I like? What? You a lot less every time you open your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and man. sometimes he likes you a lot more when you do it. Yeah, that's uh, true, too. Jeez, Those um, are the times we're not supposed to talk about. I will think of it. I will think of who it was because, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get nope, it. Nope, I have not. Somebody you've with never, two first names. That's nope. When we know that. Well, yeah. You've never, you've, every concert you've been to has always been good. Yeah. And on, and the one that I thought was not going to be good because mm-hmm. we I thought we got really shitty seats. Yeah. Turned out to be one of the best concerts I've ever been to in my life. Oh, fuck. Who was uh, it? Sticks. Cher. Cher. <laughs> Dude, oh. I'm a fan, bro. I that, love me some share. No kidding. But we got uh, late tickets uh-huh. when she was here. Yeah. And it was like behind the stage, catty cornered. I mean, they weren't expensive, but it was just, I was like, man, these are shitty seats. Right. But we could see like her going down underneath the stage. You couldn't see her change, obviously, but you saw her going down into the dressing room where she did change. Yeah. You saw, got to see all the dancers getting ready and fucking all the props and shit getting ready to be brought it was actually really fucking cool man all right oh there it was i knew it was gonna finally come to me it was eli young ben oh they never were, heard of them they were fucking terrible probably why i never heard of them. oh no they were really popular for like like in 2010 2000 probably 2010 2015 something like that and they they had a lot of good M- music they had like a yeah. lot of good popular songs they must have and we went to a uh, the concert was at wichita state coke arena it was mm-hmm. at coke arena mm-hmm. and it was um it wasn't very expensive but holy shit right. they were terrible it was so never bad never heard of them yeah it was bad uh how about you Derek? uh yeah once yeah. uh bone thugs and harmony really, really? Awful. damn it 
Twice I've seen them. That's it. And just to make sure. <laughs> no, the second time they were like a middle act for Ice Cube. Uh, and they were still bad. Yeah. Ice Cube was great. Yeah. yeah. And Cypress Hill was on that, and they were fucking Yeah, great. Cypress Hill I've seen live. They're fucking uh, awesome. But I saw Bone Thugs, and they had like, I, they were at the Cotillion the first time I saw them, and they had like, I don't know, 11 openers? <laughs> like Jesus it was Christ. And every opener. Hey, what are we? What, 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 what's going on? That's exactly what it sounded like. They were oh. eating the goddamn microphone. I couldn't understand anything they were saying. Oh, These God. not you're not supposed to understand what Bone Thugs is saying. Um, <laughs> and then Bone Thugs came out, and it was just it was bad. That sucks. And then whenever they were the middle act here, it's like please be better. And then like they weren't. No. And then their soundboard fucked up, and so oh. they're like, oh well, uh, you know what do you, what do y'all want to talk about? And it's like, it was fucking. It was bad. That sucks. It was bad. Mm. So those are the two worst concerts I've been to were Bone Thugs, but thankfully Ice Cube was uh, had saved the day on one of them. Thank that's, goodness. That's good. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is Never Have I Ever. Now we get to move on to That's Where We Draw the Line. This is JP's favorite part of every single episode. Hey, man, that's not my sound anymore, bro. Ah, oh, jeez. I can't believe he's making me do this. Ah, uh, Fine. But uh, Thank you. anyways, uh, we're going to kick this off with uh, Wayne Fargnoli. He good old Wayne. Good old Wayne. He wants to know, what is the amount of time you have to attend an establishment before you are considered to be a regular? Wait, is, is that Lil Wayne? Yeah. Is yeah, that, Lil Wayne is that Fargnoli. Weezy? That's yeah. Lil Wayne. That's Weezy, 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 Lil Weezy Wayne Fargnoli. Fargnoli. Yeah. Weezy Fargnoli. Yeah. Weezy Fargnoli. You never knew his last name, did you? Never huh? did. Yeah. Oh, I'll be I learned something today. Yeah. Well, well, Weezy, <laughs> I would say uh, it depends on how many times a week you're going. Okay. So, like, if you're going to a bar, uh, if you go once a week, a few months. Okay. I would say if you're going two or three times a week, a month. Okay. That's what oh, I would Oh, I never even thought of I it that I say way. it depends on how much you tip. <laughs> no, because oh. you can be a regular that nobody wants to wait on too, and you're like, "Ah, oh, fucking James." I get is that, here. but I, it, the vice versa is true. If you come in once and you tip me like these people did one time on the patio, like three hundred bucks a piece, they tipped us. Mm-hmm. Wow, I will always remember them, and from now on, they're regulars. <laughs> Deal. They come in. They only come in like once every couple months, but every time they come in, they nice. Come, yeah, dude. I'd, I'd, so I, I think it matters on how much money you're dropping because yeah. you could become a regular really fast and people will remember you very fast. That's how you, that's how you become a regular. Exactly. I think you guys are actually both on the same page. It's just a different way of saying what it is. I think it's you're both exactly right. It's whenever the well that makes me feel better. Yeah. Whenever whenever the the um, the crew or the or uh, the employees all know who the fuck you are. That is when you are a regular. There you go. What do you think about that? I like good it. Good compromise. Okay. Good question, Wayne good, Fargnoli. Can, good, good. Add a baby Wheezy. Yeah, Wheezy. It's, it's Wheezy, dude. Uh-huh. Sorry. Anyways. Uh, fire man. Yeah, that's right. Uh, next one comes in from Wesley Rackley. He wants to know, how many animals are too many animals to be living in your house? Again, it depends. Oh, my God. What no. kind of animal? Dogs? Like two or three? All right. Spiders? Uh, that's not, that's not an animal. Uh, <laughs> cats? One. One's too many. Yeah, one yeah, is too many. One is too many. I'll okay. come shit in a box at your house. You don't have to get a cat. Now, dead cats, I'm fine with. Like, yeah. cat skins all over the walls. Oh, yeah. And, you know, that, that's fine. But, yeah, live cats, it says, none. It says living in your house. Yeah, so no, so no none. none. Zero one cats. I, I, I think that's unanimous I for agree. all of us. Yeah, I, yeah zero agree. cats. I'd say two dogs max. I think so, too. If three, I disagree. How many do you want? I mean, I've had up to five. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't watch the fucking TikToks with dogs anymore. Oh, there Cause, is Because I would a want to buy them all. I would want Dude, to save them all. There's a TikTok that is a St. Bernard rescue. Oh, Jesus. You're fucked. It's heaven, bro. Oh, but yeah. I want to go so fucking bad. I know. So bad. I see the same thing whenever it, I get. There's like 50 of them, 60 of them, and they're yeah. fucking. Dude. That's what I'm. That's actually about. a casting call amazing. for the next Beethoven movie. Yes, yes, correct. Yeah, whenever I see pit bulls, I'm the same fucking yeah. way. The singer or the dog? Okay, fine. Staffordshire Terriers. Okay. If I see those fucking TikToks, whew, 
I want to. I want to go and help him and He's, save him. Every time I hear gasolina, I just want to move that guy <laughs> in the basement. So here's a here's a real fun fact. So uh, one of my buddies, which I believe you guys have met, Steve. We call him Steve Eater because yeah. he he was a competitive eater. For yeah, a long he's a time. nice guy. I like him. Excellent person. Um, he, on the other hand, um, used to work for the Cedric County Zoo. So naturally. Uh, he just living, um, I guess outside, he, he actually has one like really expensive Galapagos tortoise in his fucking yard and two other very large turtles. And then probably like 10 other fucking turtles and shit. It's fucking awesome. But then he also has like dogs and snakes and he's got one of the monitor lizards and shit like that. As one, as one would, she's a bitch too. But yeah, I could never, ever have that. I love animals too, but I, that's too many. Ten, okay. 10 is way too fucking many. But anyways. But zero cats, that's way too many. Zero cats is too many. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I agree. Uh, last one comes in from Reese Newland. He wants to know, what is the breaking point of helping friends that don't help themselves? So far, every time I've asked, Scotty keeps helping me. I <laughs> so I guess I don't know where the point breaking point is yet. Well, that's because I like you. Uh, exactly. I consider you a very close friend. Anytime you needed something, I would always, I'll always be there until you cross me. I you need know? something, huh? I need something. Not right now. that. Not gonna happen. You just said on live, fucking. Not that. All right, man. Not that. That's not what you said. I know, but you know that I would never <sighs> do that. You fucking superimposed him. <laughs> he fucking superimposed <laughs> me, man. Jesus. Uh, but Derek, the same thing. Any of the guys, if they if they needed something and I was available to help, yeah. I, I felt terrible because whenever uh, Derek was trying to sell his uh, his wife's car. He called and asked me if I could be there to be with him, but I think I had, like, my family in town or something. I was at baseball, and so I was yeah. like, hey, she's uncomfortable because she doesn't know this guy. I haven't seen him in, like, 20 years. Yeah. I know you have guns, yeah. so will you come over to the house? Yeah, and, and I would have, but I can't remember what I had. But that, That's weird. You, had, he didn't to, you call. had to go to trivia. He didn't so, call me. Oh, yeah, I was at trivia. I That's think. weird. He didn't call me, and I live right down the street. Homos can't fight good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop it. I'll protect you. <laughs> now just tell the guy, if you try anything, I'm going to fucking fuck you in the ass. Yeah, they won't try anything. They won't try that. anything anyway. Uh, shit. But anyways, I think, I, I think, I don't know. I don't know either because I'm just, I'm, a, I'm helpful. Like it's the way I was raised is yeah. to fucking help people that need help. If you can do it, if, if, if you can do it and not hurt yourself in the process, yeah, then you should help. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I've just been, I was raised that way. I think, like, it, it, I don't know. And like, I know, like, I know what he's getting at. Like, you keep giving this guy money, but all he does is go spend it on meth. Yeah. Well, I mean. Do meth with him. Have a good time. <laughs> you know? I mean. Maybe it's awesome. Maybe why, that's why he buys so much. And yeah. he wants you to try I don't it. know, man. I mean, I think in that situation. It's different. It's different. Yeah. The, the giving money thing, I think there's a line that can be crossed. Yeah. But yeah. like, like Derek, those of you guys who don't know, Derek is like the most pessimistic fucking person on the face of the planet. And every single it's time we, we talk to him, I, I talk to him, try to tell him, hey, dude, you're good at this, or you are awesome, or blah, blah, blah. He's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not. I'm average. I'm, I don't need, I'm not as good. I don't need fucking Tony Robbins in my ear. <laughs> Just like I've been telling him for years, I'm like, you're an actually good comedian. No, nah, I'm not that good. You've won funniest person in Wichita twice. Put some respect on it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. He's a two time champion. That's man. true, man. He's the only one. The only one. Until yep. next year. We're not giving him shit for oh, it yeah, or anything all, like that. They're coming out of the woodwork next year. I Absolutely. I, I hope next year's prize is like 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, it's not even worth it. God, hundred dollar entry fee next year. Oh Lord! But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is that's where I draw the line. JP's favorite. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You're not getting your new sound. It's too loud and obnoxious. I love it. But now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, again, guys, thank everybody who participated in Monday Fun Day. We sincerely do appreciate it, even if it was kind of <laughs> foreboding or what. Well, yeah, well, I don't yeah. know. But anyways, uh, this one first, we're going to kick off with Chris. I believe it's Ad- Adelman or Adele Man. I think it's Adele Man. That's the superhero <laughs> version of Adele. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's like, hello, <laughs> from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. I like that. Uh, but anyways, uh, he wants to know alternative names for a glory hole. Sucks a lot. Nice. I like that one. 
Um, a honker hole. Okay. Uh, meat socket. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was just socket. I was th- trying to think of something for meat. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, uh, I don't Stall know. surprise. Yeah, that's. I was gonna try to go with a with a surprise, but I a squatty think. slot, a Scotty slot, <laughs> a Scotty slot. That's apparently that's what's gonna be on this show. A it's Scotty gonna be slot? it's gonna be a Scotty slot, Scotty slot from this point on. I said I Squatty because I still have you in my phone as Squatty <laughs> German. <laughs> that's nice. that's great. You got any more down there, JP? Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. Um, we haven't heard from her in a while, but uh, money maker. A money maker? That's what I call mine. Well, that's that's yeah. How you pay, get paid pretty well? I mean. I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> okay. Not bragging. That's good. I'm doing milking, all right. A milking wall? Yeah. yeah. That's mm. good. Um, meat milker. <laughs> meat milker. I like that one, too. That's the name of Scotty's fantasy football team. <laughs> the meat milker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that's, that's Sketch's fantasy football team name. Um, next one comes in from Taylor Morosky. We haven't heard from her in a while. Uh, but she wants to know, what is something you still don't understand about the opposite sex? Just one thing. (laughs) (laughs) I guess. The vagina. (laughs) It really throws me for a loop how anybody could want to know. It scares me. Why? No, I don't know. What I don't understand about women is that they bitch because they want equal rights, but then they just want to stay home and watch the kids. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, you got to choose, dude. Do you want to fucking. You want to be Harrison Butker's wife or do you want equal rights? Right, exactly. Uh, That's what I don't get. uh, Multiple orgasms. I don't. I don't understand. I, I've never had that. I would you, love to have. You've that. never even seen it. I've been offering. <laughs> hey, disagree. I've been offering. No, and you just won't take me up on it. No, I so no. That's you impossible. Don't it, you don't want it that bad. That's impossible. You were incorrect. <laughs> no, I honestly though I I do not understand how every single day at the exact same time my wife still does not know where she wants to go fucking eat. It drives me nuts. And I don't understand why. And she there won't even go. come out and say, you know, I could do this or I could do this. No, it's it's like, what do you want? And I give her a list of options. And she's not, nah. I don't understand why women don't swallow. Yeah. Why do all that fucking work and then just fucking spit the reward out? You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, I, I don't get it. All of you that do that, you dumb shame bitches. on you. I don't, have, I don't have a situation that has that problem. Oh, so. good for you, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How about you, Derek? She's she's a swallower, and her areolas are the size of quarters. She's the whole package. I love you, honey. <laughs> Absolutely love you. You weren't here for that one, but. No. Absolutely love you. But but she also thinks that they didn't have rope back in the 1770s. <laughs> well, there you go. It's all right. Uh, how about you, Derek? What's that? Uh, <laughs> what is something you don't thank un- you for paying attention <laughs> what is something you don't understand about the opposite sex oh, why they find me so goddamn attractive <laughs> yeah <laughs> fuck you know what take back what I said and fuck it I'm hopping on that train <laughs> I just don't get it uh, oh lord I don't know if it's the muscles it's gotta yeah. be yeah the, the lack of muscles the beautiful hair oh yeah I don't know what it is I don't know I really don't. I don't understand it He's either. He's got a very soft taint. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh. I don't know if it's because my penis is the size of the A-team van. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just don't know. Oh, my. All right. Uh, next one comes in from Dan Jones. He wants to know rejected names for swamp ass. Sweaty sphincter. Pre-lubed. Pre-lubed. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. No. Derek? Soggy shit crack. <laughs> mm. That's the worst, man. Mm. You're going on a long road trip and your butt is like you get out and it's just wet. It's awful. Moist man muff. There you yeah. go. Absolutely. Moist man muff. Like it. Any other ones? <sighs> I got to start reading these. <laughs> okay. Beforehand. That's huh? all right. Uh, next one comes in from Charlie Mann. He wants to know what is the next great golf course hazard sniper yeah <laughs> okay. i was just getting ready to say that <laughs> that's yeah an easy one that's easy that's an easy one I, I honestly really do think they should have another hazard and um it is somebody hiding in the bushes with an air horn like like jackass uh, yeah. and every once in a while somebody just, just, just nails somebody okay. 
And just let them know at the beginning of every single round of golf, hey, just so you're aware, there will be a guy running around with an air horn. He's supposed to do that. I think that'd be great. I think that they should electrify the bunkers. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that'd be all right. I'd be okay with that. How about you, Derek? I said sniper. Oh, that's right. You did say sniper. Yeah. Any any other ones? Random I, exploding golf balls. Fuck yes, yeah, they have those. And those are yeah. pretty no, but yeah, cool. but you, you're not. A, nobody's allowed to know who uh, it's going to be. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll be down with that. That'd be fun. Uh, let's see. And last one it comes in from Peter Haverkamp. He wants to know what's the worst investment you or anyone else could make to invest all your money in vegan water. <laughs> yeah. No shit. This water is made with no animal product. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, I hope this is too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have anything that you is- could send. You could send money to the RNC. Uh, well, no. <laughs> I just any any political money. Any, any, I hate it. I don't like it. It drives me nuts. I don't know if you were here for it on, but when we were talking about, or when we were playing cards on Saturday and there was that family that bought, uh, they thought they bought thousands of dollars to like Disney. Uh, oh yes. And it actually turns out they bought thousands of dollars of Disney plus gift cards. Yes. That is, (laughs) that's a bad investment. That is a very bad investment. You win. That's (laughs) definitely a bad investment. That's awful. Oh man. But yeah, I don't, that's a good one. That's a good one. I agree. Anything else? Uh, sketches only fans? Yeah. yeah, that'd probably be a bad investment, <laughs> too. Yeah. Oh, Lord Good have call. mercy. Good it, call. It's up, brother. <laughs> it's up, brother. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Uh, thank you very much for all of you guys who participated in Monday Funday. Keep your eyes peeled for the next Friday uh, for the new Monday Funday. Hopefully we don't accidentally predict the future in that one either. Uh, but now I get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft, and I came in dead last. Shucks. Uh, But Steve Peters was a actual winner, which mainly means that by technicality, JP wins again. Uh, No. I'm a winner. I deserve my music. God damn it. All right, that's enough. But anyway, so that means that uh, Derek, because he has been absent, he gets to have the number one overall pick. Uh, because I got last, I get the Eiffel Tower picks. And that means that JP gets to try and defend his fake title because he didn't actually win. I'm a winner. My mom told me so. <laughs> right. That's what the main problem is. <laughs> uh, but this week's draft is going to be pretty fitting. I kind of like this idea. This is going to be the worst animals to have as pets. Yeah. Like it. And so that means that, Derek, you're going to take my pick. Oh, the elephant? No. Yeah. <laughs> you are going to take your number one overall pick as the elephant. That would be. I, that's a pretty bad one. I don't know. There's a. You know how much a, it costs to feed that fucking thing? Oh, true. no. Just let him outside. And cleaning up its shit. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's. I mean, that's true. Um, but no, there's a lot of people in India who would uh, really disagree with you. I don't think so. In Vietnam. They killed them. Yeah. Haven't you seen Operation Dumbo Drop? No. That was a good, was a good movie. It wasn't a documentary, Scotty. Uh, it actually was based on a true story. <laughs> of course it is. Lots of things are based, <laughs> based on, true on a true story. It means yeah. one fact is all they have yeah. to fuck it. There was an elephant. Yeah. It was. Yeah. And that I, was it. I honestly don't know how true it is, but in the, in the movie, they dropped a fucking elephant out of a fucking plane and landed it in the middle of a yeah, fucking that village. that wasn't CGI at all. That was me when I went it skydiving like no, 12 it was years real. ago. It, no, that wasn't no, CGI. they really did it. Yeah. yeah, it was not CGI. They were dropping fucking no, like yeah, plaster sure. elephants out of a fucking plane, mm. and it was bad it, mm. yeah not good i was very speaking of dropping elephants out of planes i was very proud of a post i made the other day oh yeah uh like 12 years ago almost the day i went skydiving oh and uh i it had popped up on my memories and so i had shared it and i said 12 years ago today it was raining pimps <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was very proud of that uh, that's good 
Well, uh, I guess for my overall number one pick, I'm going to take the one that we all agree about, and that is going to be a fucking cat. Yep, that's cat suck. They suck. If you die, that cat doesn't like you at all. He's going to eat you. That's what he'll do, or she'll do. Anyway, okay. so that's my number one pick. JP, what uh, what do you got? I'm gonna go with honey badger. Honey badger, <laughs> probably not a probably not a good pet. Yeah, I'd say you're probably right. Those things are kind of assholes. Uh, but you get another one. Oh, I get two. You get two in a uh, row. I'm gonna go with a skunk. Damn it! I was just thinking about that one too. I'm like fuck. Uh, okay. And the, obviously, you can't get their scent glands removed. You can't? Well, you can. Oh, okay. That's what people do. Really? Yeah. I, a lot of people have them as pets. They're actually they, pretty cool. Yeah, they kind of look kind of cool. But I this one, for this instance, it can't be decent. Okay. That, by, by the way, I think stipulation, it has to be a real animal. It can't be like dragon. Oh. That doesn't count. No. Okay. No. I think uh, that's bad. I don't, I don't like the way that you throw <laughs> stipulations around, <laughs> sir. I'll pick whatever I want for my fucking draft, and I'll thank you to just shut the fuck up about it. I keep it up. I'm sicking my elephant on you. you oh, yeah. I wish you would. <laughs> well, uh, my I, last pick will kill your elephant. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, I, I'm gonna go with um, with an animal that I, I really hope nobody has as a pet because it will fucking eat you, and that is your good old fashioned crocodile. Yeah, good one. Uh huh. I bet nobody would have thought of that. Uh, well, that's I, a good one. You know, uh, the only thing I could think of was uh, Steve Irwin, that yeah. motherfucker, and I. That was uh, a stingray. Uh, it was a stingray, but yeah. uh, but you know the crocodiles were pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Norm Macdonald has a great bit about that. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go with the crocodile. Uh, Derek, you get two in a row. A dinosaur. <laughs> okay, man. Time out. They were real. Fuck you. They're not real now. That's bullshit. That's okay, because my last pick, you're not going to like it, and you can stick it up your ass. Okay. Yeah. Dinosaur, and, and a, then your a, next pick. A baboon. <laughs> Just any dinosaur? That baboon dragging its ass all over your furniture. Yeah, oh, good. yeah. And they're mean. They are mean. Um, I am going to go ahead and select a polar bear. Mm. Okay. For multiple reasons. They have to be cold, so that That's would be expensive. True. But not only that, they are fucking mean. They are dangerous little shits. So that's what I'm going to go with. JP, you get two in a row. I'm going to go with a, a lion. A lion? Big cat. Okay. Any big cat. Okay. Not a good idea. That's probably not a good idea. However, no. that uh, did you know that there are more tigers in captivity in Texas than there are in the rest of the wild of the world, by the way? Just Is so that you know. where that Baskin lady has her thing? Uh, Car- Carol Baskins? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, that I believe was in Oklahoma, if I remember. No, correctly. that was that was. Uh, oh, no, that was Florida. Florida. Oh, was in Florida. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. What's Joe your, Exotics was in Oklahoma. That's right. Joe Exotics was in Oklahoma. Yeah, he's he, he's your kind of, of guy. Of course it was. <laughs> but of course it was. He can't, that dude had to be from Oklahoma. I'm, Nowhere I, else he could have been from. I've never said this, but I've always uh, thought it. And because you brought it up, I'm going to say it. But you look like one of Joe Exotics' boyfriends that was on that fucking show. <laughs> I shit you not. The one that has three teeth? No, I just don't. Give, <laughs> just, give, just give him the rest of his teeth, and you look exactly Plenty like that. I don't look like that dude at all. <laughs> you can go fuck you yourself, bro. Do. I do not saying. look like that dude. Everybody who's at home listening to the, to oh the show. Oh, my God, dude. Get Some, on YouTube God. and watch it because he kind of does. Do not look like that dude. Sort of. I'm no. just saying. Derek's trying to pull yeah. it up. Yeah, he kind of does, doesn't he? <laughs> no, I don't look anything <laughs> like that motherfucker, dude. He kind of does. Just saying. Yeah, there, there he is with teeth now. Does he look kind of like JP? No. Oh. He's got a beard now. Oh, he's got a beard. So I don't that, look like that dude, nah. man. Go fuck yourself. I'm just just saying. I don't but like you. Anyways. Here's JP and Joe Exotic together. Yeah, right there. See? See? Yep, there we are. There you are. That's the hot boyfriend. He shot oh, himself in the that's head. That's the guy that shot himself? Yeah. Damn. Uh, JP, you get one other pick, dude. <sighs> um... Really? Just one? I got two left, though, right? Yeah, you got yeah. two left. All right. I'll go with Grizzly Bear. Okay. Grizzly. It's a good pick. It's kind of stepping on my pick, but that's okay. Um, I am going to go with a Silverback Gorilla. Nice. Fuck yeah. that shit. 
So I'm going to go with that. Uh, Derek, you get your last two picks. A hippopotamus. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas, dog. No, I, I, they're like my favorite animal, but, man, they're deadly. Yeah, they, they, they're just territorial. And I'm cheap. Again, it was cost so much to feed it. Yeah, it, that's true. Just a bunch of watermelons. That's all you got to get is a bunch of watermelons. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying. They love watermelons. They, they just like melons. I just see that's what everybody at the zoo mm-hmm. feeds them is just mm-hmm. melons. Yeah. But, uh, then you get your last pick. Plus that water would be disgusting to have to change. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to say an anaconda. Damn it. That was my last pick. <laughs> that really was my last pick. Son of a bitch. Nice. Yeah. Good old J-Lo. She survived, you know. Ah, fuck. <laughs> that sucks. That really fucking sucks because that was going to be my, my last pick. Um, I guess in that case, I am going to select. Damn it. I, I guess I'm going to have to. It's the, it's the thing that I'm scared of the most. I'm going to say a great white shark. Mm. But that kind of sucks because you can't keep them in captivity, they die. Yeah. They really, you can't keep them in a you cage. You keep buying them. So you can't tell your kid that it died. Yeah. You just have to keep yeah, buying more sharks. Yeah, looks just like keep, the other one. Keep fucking buying them. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know what, but all of a sudden, sharks are on the endangered list. Yeah, yeah. Weird. Fuck. Yeah, they, but you can't. You cannot keep great whites in captivity, and I don't know what the deal is. If it has to do with something, because they, like, deep dive a lot and shit. I don't know, but that's my last pick. All right, JP, what are you winning the draft with, buddy? El Chupacabra. El Chupacabra. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll know what it is. But uh, I will say this. If you we're going like some pet, like some exotic pets that you wish you could have, what would be some of yours? Because mine is a fucking otter. Those things are yeah, so damn they cute. They are cute. They are so cute. You could probably have one. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And foxes. Have you seen that chick that has yeah, foxes? Yeah, dude. There's uh, this p- these chick and this dude in Russia somewhere that are, is it Russia? I think it's Russia. They have like, Big cats like a yeah. black panther that plays with their Rottweiler. Oh, I've seen them. Yeah, I've seen That's them. That's pretty bad. That is pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, what about until you? it kills you in your sleep. <laughs> exactly. How about you? Do you have any of that you would monkey. actually? I'd want, I want you'd want a monkey? monkey. Fuck yeah. Like My those little cute monkey. capuchin monkeys? Fuck yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I could teach him to steal stuff. <laughs> like monkey trouble? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking hilarious. Totally do that. Oh, that's so fucking funny. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. You can go and vote at facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or Twitter at LOT sidelines and vote for the list that you like the most of the worst animals to uh, have as pets. Uh, so go and do that. We sincerely do appreciate it. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Derek the Wreck Alders. There you go. All right. Yeah. You're welcome, fuckers. That's right. And JP. Jesus Christ. It's so fucking annoying. I, I'm, just gonna ta- I'm just going to have to take it off the damn sound bar. I feel like I'm on hold at a gay bar. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You are. That's good. You should always feel that way. <laughs> yeah. But so while we're talking. Like, do you guys make pink martinis? Hold, please. <laughs> <laughs> they come back on the line all right thanks for calling copters how can i help you <laughs> copters copters. Oh, copters copters that's good shit no but so why while we're while we're talking about it and saying you guys are sponsoring the show this this uh this week um you guys i believe both have comedy uh, that's scheduled, don't you? Yeah, on the we same do. Show, yeah, same show, it. same show. Mm-hmm. Uh, with uh, Travis Cagle, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Steve, and, it, and it, yeah, with Steve. Uh, did they ask Jeremy to do fucking comedy? I don't know. Damn it! I hope not. <laughs> Why? Because it's like a contest. <laughs> Cause it's, and it's, Jeremy's funnier than I am. <laughs> Isn't it called We're All Closers Now? No. Oh, no, not that's that the one. movie. That's that the movie there. that they made about oh. the Looney Bin closing down. They're going to air Which at was the a wave. Great movie. Oh, I, I need to. I want to watch that. That looks cool. It's fantastic. It's Thursday night. I got a bowl. Uh, Otherwise, that sucks. I'd go. Where's but, the movie at? Wave. The wave. The wave. Oh, that's fucking cool. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, but no, it's a lot of a lot of good state comedians are going to be. I believe at Central Standard Brewing. If Central I, Standard CSB. Brewing Company. That's right. August and, the eighteenth. Okay, August the eighteenth, and this you is going to get be, your tickets now at Eventbrite. Yeah. And then, but this will be the first time that you're going to be doing comedy at, for a while. For yeah, for a little while. Yeah, and yeah. I think you already told you already dropped it on the show, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's in one month. One month, you're going to have a, a special. Yep, one month. That's pretty awesome. So if you are, but in I which can't area, do any of that shit because I don't want to ruin it. Oh, sucks. so you're doing old. So shit? I've been writing new. Sh- I've been rewriting shit? some old shit and writing some new shit. And that's great. That's awesome. Yeah. And then if you want to come out and see Derek, you can actually see probably his last performance at uh, um, the Wichita's Funniest Person. Um, you, you can basically Just one joke, and it's a new joke that didn't even do good. <laughs> 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 I hate that that's what they picked. That sucks. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, do do us a favor. Go and see him. And then, plus, you get to see a whole bunch of other comedians uh, like Steve uh, as well. Who I've I've seen Steve do five minutes and I damn near piss myself. So go and uh, go Hot. and check them out. Yep. Uh, but now this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation, uh, which is brought to you also by Fanger Bang Beer, by the way. Very well. Uh, but this week's uh, laughing on the sidelines shitty situation is: Would you rather from now on every single time you go to a concert, you are let down, or every time that you go to your favorite team's sporting event they lose that's easy for me oh really yeah you're gonna say sporting event yeah because you don't care i don't know it's not that i don't care i just don't go to the broncos game tv i just don't go we'll make it to every time you watch your favorite team they lose oh well i don't care for that yeah see it's a little harder that many concerts i guess i'm going with the fucking concerts then really yeah i it's tough because yeah, when you, i hate watching my teams lose i i know it's an emotional letdown thing Sometimes. it really is and yeah. excuse me i'll be honest with you i genuinely don't have a good time when i go to concerts really i don't that's because you're a shitty person no i just don't listen to as much music as i used to anymore mm. I, I i listen like i listen to podcasts on on the regular like non-stop and i have like five or six that i consistently listen to um, but I just don't listen to music in the car very okay. rarely. And then the other thing is, is it, I am, I have been let down to the point to where I want to go and see like a favorite band of mine that I, I liked all the way through high school and college. Yeah, I don't really want to go and see them and have them ruin it. So I'm going to also say concerts. I don't want to go to very a concert good. where it sucks. Derek, Derek. I'm going to both this week. <laughs> this <laughs> Who are you going to next week? Next week. Yeah. Well, you're going to see the Cubs play yep. and the Royals play, so you, it's kind of hard to lose in that one because yeah, you I, like I'm them both. Cubs, Cubs go first. I know, but you know. Um, and then I'm going to see the Offspring on Monday. Oh, so um, I'm well, gonna, here's the thing: it's one or the other. You got to keep them separated. I'm kind of yeah. jealous. I'm kind of jealous, buddy. Oh, well, they're at Wave. That's good. Oh, they're at Wave. Yeah, they're in town. In town. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to be in like Kansas City or something. No, yeah. they're here. No. I, th- I might actually fucking go. Yeah, that's one of my favorite songs. Is uh, you're gonna go far, kid? That's like one of my favorite songs. Oh, I, so man, thanks for sharing. Yeah, well, you, we give a fuck. Hey, you know what? Shut up. All right, we're friends off the show, but we got to you know keep what? them separated. <laughs> you know, want to know what my favorite song is? What? Shut the fuck up. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> God damn it. All right, Derek. So what are you gonna do, man? I'm gonna go. I go to less concerts than I do that's what sporting I events. Yeah, yeah that's good so. Point. I've got to go with the concert. Yeah, unfortunately, at least I can still listen to the CD and be like, eh, or the the MP3 or yeah. whatever, and be like, eh, <laughs> CD. I did. At least I can still listen to the cassette tape. <laughs> yeah, nothing sounds better than cassette. I agree. Dude, I it's, agree. It's, it's right. got all the nuances. Yeah. It's so uh-huh. good. It's you, the vinyl of the '90s. Yeah, yeah for sure. Or in it is. late '80s, and you gotta you gotta play it in like a giant ass boom box and carry it Fuck around. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 I totally agree with you. Yeah. Like, uh, I, you can listen to Dr. Dre, but if you listen to Dr. Dre on cassette, oh, you are fucking, fucking hard, hard right now, yeah, dude. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much. We sincerely do appreciate all of you guys out there. Um, if you haven't yet, do us a favor and help the show out by liking the the video uh, and also leave a comment, especially if you have anything to say, you know, to JP or to uh, Mr. Derek Alders. Not to me, though. 
Uh, but guys, thank you guys so very much. We sincerely do appreciate it. You guys are our advertisers. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. And as we always like to say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... We hope you get your dick bit off at the glory hole. <laughs> oh, my God. If you don't like us... Tell your enemy. And until next time, guys... It's up, brother. <laughs> <laughs> until next time... Keep laughing, asshole. We will see you later. Take care. <laughs>